Was Maui set ablaze by blue space lasers? Uh, no. Are you dumb? <laughs> Dozens of conspiracy theorists seem to think that Maui was targeted by a blue wavelength space laser, and that that explains why blue cars, blue beach umbrellas, and Oprah's blue roofed house remain intact. That's insane. I'm gonna do a longer video on this issue, but for now, just a few thoughts on why this idea is completely nuts. These nuts. First of all, if a blue wavelength laser had targeted Maui, thousands of the inhabitants would have been able to see the damn thing. We don't have dozens of inhabitants saying that they saw a space-based death ray. We only have a few debunked mock-up images. So, yeah. It's a made-up tale. It's a total fabrication. Now, it's true that blue objects look blue because they reflect more blue light than other colors. This would make it harder for a blue laser to heat up these blue objects to their ignition temperature, as most of the blue laser light would be reflected away. However, blue objects on the ground won't reflect 100% of blue laser light. It's incredibly unlikely that the blue objects on the ground will perfectly match the color of the laser, especially as blue objects on the ground have different shades of blue. At the huge laser intensities required to burn cars and homes, blue objects will still absorb a significant amount of energy and would tarnish and very likely burn, just like similar objects of any other color. It's essentially impossible to fire a high intensity laser beam at an area and only cause significant damage to objects of a particular color. You just can't get that level of color resolution. It also seems like a lot of hassle and expense to blast a blue laser into space if you believe that people can protect themselves simply by wearing denim or dressing up as Smurfs. But I guess you can't expect conspiracy theories to be logically consistent. Doesn't anyone notice this? I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. Also, who would build a surface targeting laser like this? Why? If you wanted to build a surface targeting laser using visible wavelength light for incinerating dry grass or inappropriately colored cars or Oprah's enemies, choosing the wavelength of blue light would be a very inefficient choice. Blue light is more strongly scattered by the atmosphere than essentially all the other colors of visible light. That's why the sky appears blue. So a significant fraction of the energy of your space-based hell laser would be scattered off target by the atmosphere. Your laser would be very inefficient at delivering energy to the ground and would therefore require far more power and far more cooling. Why not just ask Oprah to paint her house red instead? He's right, you know. About the art? About everything, damn it. The truth, of course, is that certain objects of all different colors were left unscathed by the fire, either just by chance as fires can jump via floating embers, or due to other unseen factors, such as the material composition or moisture content of various objects. There is no evidence that blue objects were more likely to be left unscathed. And let's follow this through logically. If a blue laser beam had started fires on Maui while initially sparing blue objects, surely as those initial fires spread, we would still expect them to consume the blue objects. So conspiracy theorists already accept the premise that certain objects are just left alone by hopping fires. Why then is there any need to invoke the presence of high intensity lasers that initially started the fire over far more mundane explanations like power failures or human created flames? The upshot of all this is that you don't need to panic. There's absolutely zero evidence that Putin, Xi, Bill Gates or the World Economic Forum is targeting your front lawn. Yet. I want to know what you think, because you're the scholars of enlightenment that I do this for. So please take a moment, if you wish, to let me know down in the comment section. And if you like this video, please consider leaving a like, subscribing, setting up notifications, and sharing this video more widely. I can't tell you how much these simple actions help me out and how much I'd appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being scientific. Thanks for being bad.